Um, and so we are now in our final week of our of, of our Bible reading, and today we are in Galatians chapter five, looking at uh, what Paul writes regarding our freedom in Christ. In fact, in verse one, he says, "It is for freedom that Christ has set us free." I know that sounds kind of redundant and obvious, but Paul is making a point. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. And then in verse 13, he says, you, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. And so Paul is emphasizing the freedom that we are, are to live by as followers of Jesus. But he's dealing here in Galatians chapter 5 with two errors regarding um, the way we might consider or use our freedom. The first is those who would fall back into a works mentality or a religion-based mentality when it comes to their relationship with God or to um, their thoughts about how it is they might be or would be saved. And he says, listen, don't fall back into religion. Don't think that, that you can just make yourself better and earn your way to God. Um, Christ has given you a salvation that is free. Um, but the second error that he deals with is how we might use our freedom or that we ought to be careful not to abuse our freedom that we've received in Christ. Um, and he talks about the fact that um, there are those who might potentially use their freedom in such a way as to take advantage of the grace of God and, and thus they just kind of live however they want to live. Paul talks about indulging the flesh and um, just thinking that, well, they can sin and because they're free and God will forgive them. Um, but Paul says that's an abuse of our freedom. He says instead our freedom is to be used, one, to humbly serve those around us. We've been set free to serve um, the people who are in our lives. And then secondly, he says we've been set free to live according to the Spirit, so we don't have to live any longer as slaves to our human nature, but we can now live according to the Spirit. And he goes on to talk about what that looks like, the fruit of the Spirit, being love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, um, self-control. Um, think about it this, this, this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're listening to this um, video. Um, you know, who of us would have regret for having lived our lives filled with the fruit of the Spirit, being people of love and joy and peace and so forth. And so Paul's encouragement to us today is to live as those who've been set free by the work of Christ in our lives. Let's not fall back into a works mentality when it comes to our relationship with God or how it is we might be right before him. And let's not abuse the freedom that we have in Christ to just indulge ourselves, to indulge our flesh. But let's live according to the Spirit of God that he's put within us. Let's live as those whom Christ has truly set free. For he who the Son sets free is truly free indeed. Well, have a great day and let's continue reading through the big story.